Howdy folks, welcome back to the wood shop. Uh, we're working on that piece of wallet and uh, well, it's going pretty good because there's so much more material on this end than on this end that this end is getting pretty thin. And uh, we have a couple of flat spots on here yet that I usually wrap this up high enough to get rid of those, but I don't think I'm going to this time. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, mark out for a tenon here and uh, hopefully in this, in this segment, and uh, hopefully it won't be that long, we'll be able to cut the tenon in there and kind of form a little bit of a base here. Okay. Face shield on. I think we'll go back to the half inch gouge for this. like a pretty whoops pretty narrow base but it, but it, but I think it's gonna be all right we need to square this thing up and uh, let's see what do we use for that I don't know. Let's see if this will work. I don't like that too well. Let's go back to the skew. better. So, I think, I think what we're going to do is turn this around. Now then, we need to get that uh, spur center out of there. Okay. That is a tapered fit, so we just put the rod down through here, punch it out like that, store it right over here, and we're going to put the four jaw chuck back on there.
nothing to this. Very easy. That's what the directions say. Well, you know how that goes. Trying to see how much time we got left here. Not too much. But we're coming along. Uh, I don't think this will be any any great uh, any great creative genius here on this bowl, but I think it's going to be all right. Tighten this up good. Last thing we want is this thing come flying off there. Uh, I think we'll I think we'll put this cap back on there. I don't know how that's going to work, folks. That may may have some problems there. Now we'll get a start on this. Face shield. Five eighth ground gouge. Okay, I think we're going to call it there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, folks.